A few weeks ago, I put out a video and I went over how I don't like using tax advantage accounts for various reasons. The biggest ones are the uh, limitations on how much that you can invest in a tax advantage account, the age at which you can access that money without having excess taxation and without paying penalties, and the fact that it has a single digit ROI for the most part because you're usually investing in stocks and perhaps bonds as well if you have a balanced portfolio. And so with all those reasons, I don't really like investing in those because of the, especially the access controls that the government uh, makes on my money. Now, I have also put out videos where I've shown that with a relatively small amount of money invested into the S&P 500, which is what a lot of these uh, tax advantage accounts are typically put into, that you can become a millionaire or even a multi-millionaire on an average salary, you know, fifty, sixty thousand dollars over the course of 30, 40, or 50 years. So it is possible to become a millionaire with these uh, tax advantage accounts. The thing is that when you guys start pulling out of those tax advantage accounts, let's say that you have, you know, $1 million, that would be great. I think anyone that got to the $1 million mark in their 401k or individual IRA or Roth IRA would be pretty darn happy with their results. And they think that they're going to be able to live a really awesome and, you know, fruitful retirement. But when you look at the average 4% return, and where that comes from is a study that they did about 30 years ago based on the average return of a balanced uh, investment portfolio of 60% stocks and 40% bonds, is when you retire, if you took a 4% draw off of your investments annually, that the risk of ruin or your uh, money going to zero, you becoming bankrupt, is uh, approaching the zero mark. If you take 4% off of your million dollars every single year, uh, you are only going to end up with $40,000 a year in income. And that's probably not exactly what most people are thinking about when they have a million dollars invested into anything. And again, like I said, these tax advantage accounts, you have to take them after, or you are not able to take them until 59 and a half. So they are essentially set up for you to retire poorer and uh, than you were when you were working and older than most people would probably like because especially on the ones where you put in uh, pre-tax money, you are going to be taxed on that money uh, at the when you withdraw it and so the idea is that you are making a lower amount so that your tax bracket is lower because it's not like taxes are going to be less in the future so when you're looking at that forty thousand dollars a year that you're getting off of your one million dollars invested you're only looking at about thirty three hundred thirty three dollars and thirty three cents uh, every month for the, the rest of your life for the most part. Now that account probably will go up and that 4% will uh, become more and more over time. But when you're looking at retirement and you've uh, you've worked all your life and then you're going, trying to cut back to a $40,000 a year amount, that can be something that most people probably aren't going to want to be happy with. And even if you have you know $2 million invested, that's still only $80,000. And if you've invested up to $2 million, you probably are going to want to take off more than $80,000 of that in any given year. So those are the reasons, again, why I do not like the tax advantaged accounts uh, because of all the restrictions and uh, just investing in single digit ROI stuff doesn't grow your money very fast. So what I wanted to talk with you guys today is uh, a way that you guys can increase that amount and that you can basically get what you are going to be getting when you are uh, in retirement with your million dollar tax advantage account. You can start earning that money right this second. You can start getting that today while you're in your you know, late 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, and then and having an investment that also grows in value. And you know, if you guys are familiar with me in this channel, you know that I'm gonna talk about real estate next. And if you're not, be sure to hit the like button for me, be sure to subscribe down below because if you've never heard of anything like this, it, it might blow your mind and you may have to do a lot more fact checking on this to, to really get a, a, a handle on it. And guys, this is again where I say that anything that I say is not an indication to buy, sell, or hold a stock, crypto, real estate investment, or any other investment. You guys gotta use your heads. You gotta make sure that this stuff works for you. And uh, just because it works for me, doesn't doesn't mean it's going to work for you. Investing in real estate has always been a great way to get ahead. You can mortgage uh, the properties and you can leverage your money and the bank's money to uh, buy things that you don't have 100% of the cash for. But the returns on typical residential real estate right now are just not that great. With the prices and home values going up, as much as rent has gone up, the uh, the cream to, scream, to, to skim off the top at the end of the month, it just isn't that high. So I got into Airbnb real estate and this is 
uh, like a supercharged version of real estate where you layer hospitality on top of it and that makes the returns a lot higher because you're renting uh, luxury vacation homes to folks who are willing to pay a lot of money to go on vacation. And so with just one or two of these uh, Airbnb homes that you can acquire over the course of your life, you can prov you can make the same amount uh, of monthly return that you would saving and letting and investing into that uh, 401k or that Roth IRA uh, and, and get that money right now. Because if you go out and you purchase a half a million dollar Airbnb home, and I know you guys are now saying like half a million dollar home, how am I, I can't even afford one home, how am I gonna afford another one at half a million dollars? I'm not saying it's gonna be easy, but it's a lot easier than working 40 or 50 years to only get $40,000 in returns for a lifetime of work. And you can finance these with as little as 10% down. So a half a million dollar home would be a, you know, a $50,000 down payment, or you can go all the way up to you know, 20 or 30, or you can even pay cash for it if you have the cash for it, but I always recommend leverage to maximize your cash on cash return. But in these examples, I have just used the typical 20% down. So for a half a million dollar home, you're looking at $100,000 down. Now, when you take that mortgage, and I did all these mortgages at 30 years, it's 6% because of the way interest rates are going, a 6% interest rate is probably what you're gonna be looking at here in the near future for second homes, for investment properties, and anything that's not just a conventional or FHA or VA primary residence. You're looking at a mortgage of about $2,850, including principal interest, uh, taxes, and insurance. Now, you're gonna have other expenses on a monthly basis, and I just basically uh, make that $1,000 more a month that you are going to have to pay out for uh, just all the other things. And this is based on real life examples of the Airbnb uh, properties that we have. And if you guys are interested in those, I have another channel called Airbnb ABCs dedicated strictly to Airbnb. And uh, I want you guys to check that out if you're interested in Airbnb, but a property like this can gross up to $80,000 or more, depending on the market that you're in. If you're in a really hot market, you may even be able to get up to $100,000 of revenue out of this $500,000 property. Now at $80,000 with all of your expenses paid, you are looking to take home approximately $2,816 a month, and that is with only $100,000 down. And so, you know, you're almost at the same level as you would be with your a million dollar 401k that you're pulling 4% off of. The best part about this is though, when you guys put that $100,000 in, it's not spent, it's not gone. It is now invested into that property. That property is also going to go up in value. So you're going to get returns on uh, the money that you have invested. You're going to get returns on the equity of that property and you're going to get your cash flow amount that you're pulling out that is also sheltered by depreciation and tax write-offs. Now, if we take this to the next level and we look at a $1 million home, and again, you know, you guys, this it may seem like it's out of reach, but it really is not. You just, you know, if I am doing it right now, and if I'm doing it, a typical blue collar worker guy, then you guys can do it too. There's no doubt. The 20% down on that is a little bit steeper at $200,000. Again, guys, this is a, an amount that you can save to because if you want to retire and pull that $40,000 off, you are going to have to save and invest a ton of money to get up to that $1 million mark. But your mortgage on that with the same criteria of 30 uh, years and 6% interest rate is about $6,000 a month altogether, taxes, insurance, and everything. It'll probably be about that same $1,000 a month in, um, in, in other fees, you know, and that includes your power, your um, landscaping, TVs and such. And I've overestimated that quite a bit on the $500,000 one. So this probably works out a little bit better on the million dollar one. Now a place that is getting, uh, that is a million dollars is probably gonna be very nice, very large, and is going to command very high rents. You're probably gonna be able to do between 150 and $200,000 of gross revenue for that place. And when you're looking at uh, your mortgage plus your expenses, you're looking at somewhere between 84 and $90,000. We'll say 90 to go on the high end. So if you are uh, grossing 150, that leaves $60,000 uh, extra, you know, that's your profit. And that can get you $5,000 a month for that $200,000 investment into that uh, $1 million Airbnb. If you're up towards that $200,000 uh, gross number, which in good markets like Destin or Gatlinburg or something like that is a very doable number, that would leave you with $9,166 a month and it will just totally 
uh, demolish whatever it is that you would be getting from your 401k, from your traditional IRA, uh, from your Roth IRA. So that's just some food for thought, guys, about the uh, thing that you can do that's different than the traditional tax advantaged investment account that everyone pushes. Uh, there is extra work involved. There is risk involved. I know for a fact, I know from me doing it, that purchasing a half a million dollar home or two of them, uh, as I've done so far, or purchasing a million dollar vacation home is a big uh, number to wrap your head around. But when you start looking at the numbers and you start looking at uh, taking that risk, versus the safe way, which is actually, in my opinion, more risky and working you know, 30, 40, or 50 years in a job that you may not love, I would uh, prefer to take this route that involves me using my money to make money so I'm not using all of my time and trading it for money. So guys, check out these links on the screen right now. They're going to tell you all about investing in stocks, investing in real estate, investing in crypto. If you guys are interested in this Airbnb game, check out my channel, Airbnb ABCs, and uh, that is where I am going to be laser focused on Airbnbs only. If you guys haven't yet, hit that like button for me. It really helps me out in the YouTube algorithm. Uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything that I put out. I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you in the next one.